What is going on everybody? Nazdarachi coming back at you again today for another video for Dragon Ball Legends. And wow, it's been like a week since I uploaded something. That's a little bit out of character for me and I promise I'm gonna try and fix that you guys. But today we finally have a good little collection of information to talk about. We are going to be discussing tonight's, or I guess tomorrow, technically's, upcoming UST-15 banner, I believe, which has full power Android 13, a brand new Goku unit, which I'm sure you guys have already seen a little bit of information about, if not plenty of information, but we're going to go over everything about them, as well as the two new EX characters, Nail and Zamasu. There's also going to be another hero character, but we're not too, too worried about him. So, we're going to go over all the new characters today, the information about them, and kind of separate that from any type of summons that I do later this evening. So you guys will already have a really good understanding of everything these new characters do and how they fit in. So we are going to bring up the power of the interwebs here. And we'll start on Twitter, since this is the animations that they released about 12 hours ago. And we well know that when these previews come to social media, it is about 24 hours until the release date of the banner. So tonight it reset, and based off what the data miners said about it being on Sunday, this is all signs are pointing towards us getting this banner, you know, this morning at 2 a.m. for me. I don't know about you guys. but. We do have the Android 13. We'll hit him first here, so let's pull this up. Spirit Bomb Absorption Goku. I lied. We're talking about Goku. I don't know why I said Android 13. But we're starting with the Goku here with Cover Change Damage Cut and Attack Nullifying Special Skill Defensive Stance. Goku is extremely tough. He also gets a damage and ultimate buff from mid-game on. I don't know what mid-game means to them, but since we have the actual details on the characters, we'll check that out in a minute end the fight with Spirit Bomb Absorption, which damn near looks like a legendary finish, you guys. So, let's pull this up real quick and restart it here. Hopefully it doesn't bug out on me. You can see the Goku here, just base form, shirtless Goku, another one of those, doing a kind of off little mini Spirit Bomb right there, it seems. And we're gonna see this defensive stance. I got more to talk about that uh, later on in the video, but it is the game's first effective block move that we've seen. And again, that's something that I'd asked for upwards of like 11 months ago. It sucks that only this Goku can do it, but I'm pretty sure that this will not be the last time we see this mechanic, you guys. But yet, for all intents and purposes, he will straight up block tap attacks, and red and yellow cards, but not rising rushes or blue cards or ultimate arts techniques. So, Goku, looking like a really good damage dealing and defensive character, he's going to primarily fit on your movies teams because his Super Saiyan transformation is only for the duration of that move. He's not gonna pair very well on your Super Saiyan Bardock based Trinity teams. So, let's go before, we're gonna get more into detail in him as well here. We're just kind of doing like a little surface check before we dive into the actual stats and stuff, you guys. But, moving on to Android 13, long-awaited Android Party Red Slot is here. So they are self-aware. They know that we've been asking for this for a while, that Androids needed a powerful red unit because the old perfect cell that's red is just completely not competitive whatsoever. Get huge buffs and heal when two allied tag android battle members go down. So he's going to be an anchor unit on your androids based teams. His ultimate deadly crusher deals massive damage and even has a chance to inflict faint. That's pretty powerful as well. And again, he does have the counter when he subs in mid combo. You can see that going off right here. Let's bring that up so you see that going off right there at the very beginning. Let's actually start it over. So right here in the beginning, you see him sub into the nut punch counter. I'm so happy that they included that in this game, you guys. I want to do it against characters like Rebrian and stuff too, even though Red Blue is not going to be too too helpful there. But he's got that really sweet counter. He has the blast arts there on his what green card, and then leading into the ultimate arts, which it looked like he can combo out of his green card into the ult, which is good. He just lays a massive beatdown on Goku there. So let's uh, let's let's watch this one more time real quick. Just that ending pose for both of them is really clean too. So subbing in right there, boom, nut punch. That's great. I love it. And then what is he gonna fire off the blue card here? Yeah, that's just the basic version, and then the ultimate arts after his green. So again, 
Very pretty looking units here in terms of their animation and their design. I like everything about them. The nut punch especially is um, quite satisfying. So very similar to the yellow god Vegeta and his kind of sub in counter mechanic there to, to end combos, combo breaker if you will. But uh, better animations and we'll have to see how well he can combo out of that. So, again, we're just on the surface level here, you guys. EX Nail, they put up videos for him. Sure up your defense with reduced damage taken, heals, and nullify abnormal conditions. Go on the offensive with increased damage upon exchanging blows. Nail also sports a great Z ability that buffs Frieza Saga, Strike and Blast attack, as well as regeneration, you guys. So this is a multifunctional character here. Looking like a very, very good upcoming EX unit, and of course, it'll probably be pretty difficult to pull. Now, his animations don't really look that special or out of the ordinary, but his kit, his buffs, the stuff that he can do is what's going to really make or break your experience with him. And again, the functionality on regeneration and the Frieza Saga gives him a good little bit of versatility. I like that blue card right there. It's not too special, but conservatively awesome. So Nail, they didn't actually show off any previews for the EX Zamasu, but we can shift over here to checking them out in a more kind of statistical way. We'll start with the Goku again, since we did that first on our first pass there. As you can see, his stats are pretty much maxed out in almost every area. Of course, these numbers right here are not going to include soul boosting, so don't really pay attention to that. See it like five stars, even without max max boost panels unlocked. Okay, so it tells us down here. So at five stars or four stars, sorry, five stars <clears throat> with max panels, you're looking at 124k blast attack and 122k strike attack. He's a defense type. Those are very respectable numbers for defense type. 87 and 87k on defenses and 1.32 million health again at five stars three stars not a huge difference still really really good character Alrighty, main ability here please lend me your energy draw the ultimate arts card spirit bomb absorb next restores on health by 35 percent after 25 counts the health restore on that is extremely good also and key restore 22.95 not bad either you're going to want to probably wait a little bit longer to use the main ability. We'll find out exactly how long here. 50% to blast damage inflicted against tag Android. So he's going to be our first and best really good anti-Androids character. That's actually quite good. The following effects occur according to the number of timer counts elapsed from battle start. After 15, he gets a 20% damage reduction. After 30, he gets 50% to his ultimate damage, and 45 plus 50% to damage inflicted. So you're really going to want to wait the 45 seconds before you use his main ability and use his ultimate arts technique to really, really maximize the damage output on that. They want you to kind of use him as a, a finisher, a KO character, as well as a defensive unit. Because you got right here, Unrelenting Fighting Spirit, reduces damage received by 50% until combo ends when changing cover, and plus 35% to damage inflicted per defeated battle member. So he's kind of an anchor character as well here. <clears throat> Similar to the full power 13. Strike and Blast, nothing out of the ordinary. Energy Meteor, major impact damage, 50% to cancel enemy attribute upgrades on hit. So it's a one out of two chance for you to remove all of their attribute buffs. It's pretty interesting right there. One out of two isn't that bad. Defensive stance, 15% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts upon activation, nullifies enemies tap attack, tackle, tap shot, strike arts, and blast arts while in fighting pose, restores own vanish gauge by 100% when enemy attacks are nullified. So not only does he get a damage buff, he gets his vanish back. This nullifies their damage completely. It's not like take reduced damage, but it's a, a straight up block maneuver right here so this card is exceptionally powerful i am actually digging it and again we're going to go into something here in a second as to, to why I, I like this so much here ultimate special spirit bomb absorption massive impact damage 50 percent to ultimate damage inflicted for three timer counts upon activation and blast armor so 50 percent from this and then another 50, 100%, so 150% to 
to his ultimate arts damage if you are to wait the 45 seconds and then successfully connect with it. That is extremely good. I have a feeling that this is right up there with the LF Goku's counter in terms of damage output. Just not repeatable like the LF Goku can kind of repeat that counter over and over again. All right, comes with red and yellow. You have boost panel. I'm not really worried about that right there. But right here, Saga's from the movies or element green base blast defense. So he is a movies buffer. And no matter what, it doesn't split to anything different. So or means the greens are not going to get the double buff if they're like the green cooler or something like that. But I, he's definitely a tanky character, so his Z ability is not as good as many other characters we've seen come out in the game. But 35% is still a pretty hefty number right there. Just only blast defense, no dual stats on that. So that's probably his biggest weakness right there. Outside of that, green character, really good. But yeah, just watch out for purples and make good use of your alt, and you should be having a decently good experience with that Goku right there. On a Saiyan team, Primarily on movies, I would guess, or maybe some type of green meta with like the transforming Gohan. That could work out pretty well also. So keep that in mind. Team flexibility for him is going to be a little bit more rigid than it is for the android right here because he's an android and there's lots of good androids in the game now at this point. He rounds them out perfectly by being red. I don't know why he's a fusion warrior, really. He's not really fused. Like, he just absorbs the batteries of 14 and 15 and becomes better. I mean, I, I don't know, I guess. I guess it's just for the aesthetic of this game and the team building. So let's set him at five stars here, max level. Looking at 121k on blast attack, 128k on strike, with 87.85 on defenses right here. He is a melee type, so a pretty decent balance between his two attacks though, and his Z ability is quite amazing. Very similarly, almost completely maxed out on the stat graph here. 24, 43 key restore, not bad. 32, 84 critical, also not bad. Main ability, Goku. Draw the ultimate arts technique, Deadly Crusher. Restore zone health by 30% and key by 30. Arguably better than the effects from the Goku's ultimate arts. Goku gets 35% health, but this 30 key right here is worth losing that 5% for, I would definitely say. Also, 25 timer counts, pretty much the same as every Ultimate Arts draw time we've seen in the game so far. Unique Sinister Fusion Power, 30% to damage inflicted against tag Super Saiyan. The following effects occur according to the number of timer counts elapsed with this current character. This is very similar to the Goku. 3 counts, 35% to damage inflicted, 5 counts, 35% to own key recovery, and 10 counts, another 25% to damage inflicted. But this one is something that ends, it swaps out. While this character is on the battlefield, inflicts all enemies with two substitution counts when they switch characters. That's really, really good. And I would assume that this resets. It doesn't specify that this resets every time he swaps out. But I'm assuming it does and you have to start it over again. But that would be insanely OP if those were permanent buffs. Wow. Either way, really, really good. Now, curiously enough, this is not going to work against the new Goku very well because he's not a Super Saiyan. But for any other Super Saiyan characters like Vegito or in the game, you guys, there's plenty of them. The Transforming Trunks, the Transforming Vegeta. Still might struggle there with the Anti-Blue. But any of those transforming into Super Saiyan 1 units, the LF Goku, this is going to be very, very helpful for. I'm, I'm saying right now that this android is going to be on the core of your android's teams now, most likely. Definitely this guy, Cell, and maybe the Purple 17. That would, that would be what I would predict as the best team right now. Android's final weapon inflicts the enemy with a tribute downgrade minus one to arts card draw speed level for 15 timer counts when changing cover. Knocks back the enemy to long range if a cover change is performed against their strike arts attack. Applies the following effects to self when two allied androids are defeated. 50% to his damage inflicted and 30% to key recovery. And he gets a 30% heal. So he can heal twice. He heals 30% of the anchor character. He heals 30% of his main. That's 60% of his health back and 30 key also. So 
extremely good character again obviously pairing best on androids team but functional on movies i guess but this right here you're really gonna want this so you gotta kind of build him with androids androids and movies if you do 14 and 15 and 13 but the other 13 but yeah you could kind of I don't know. He's, he's a little bit more flexible than the Goku, I think, on team building, just for that reason. We've got the better spread of movies and androids. Strike and Blast, both normal, full charge, deadly bomber, major impact damage, inflicts enemy with a tribute downgrade, plus 20% to strike damage received. It's okay, but they can swap out of it. Swing Throw, 20% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts upon activation. Inflicts enemy with a tribute downgrade, minus 50% to key recovery for 10 timer counts on hit. And very similar to the transforming Broly, he's got the blast armor on his green card here. But it doesn't force swap them out. You're just going to swing them around and throw them and debuff them pretty heavily and buff your own damage too. So not a bad green card, but not as strategic as one that has force swap on it. That would probably be the only downfall of that one, but otherwise very, very good. Ultimate Special Deadly Crusher, massive impact damage. The following effects occur upon activation. 30% to ultimate damage inflicted for three timer counts. Gain a tribute upgrade, minus 50% to animage sustained damage cut effect for three timer counts, and a 30% chance to inflict faint. Pretty good right here. Not as good as Goku's, honestly, which has like 150% bonus damage and does all this other crazy stuff to just KO people, but still really good, and it cuts through cover right here. So it arguably is still extremely effective. Just don't expect quite as much damage out of it, I would think. But with how good of a team the androids is, all the buffs might actually recover for some of those losses. As you can see down here, strike and blast buffer straight out the gate for androids, but gives no benefits to movies teams. Just crazy, 31% to both their strike and blast attack to androids. Androids, definitely going to be one of, if not the top meta teams in the game right now, until we get the next big thing, you guys. So definitely want to build him primarily with androids, yeah, movies, not so much, but it is an option, you guys, if your androids are kind of weak. So, amazing, amazing character. We're gonna go through the two EX units a little bit more briefly. We're not gonna go over the hero nail, because there's a hero nail they're adding as well, meaning five new characters, but we can get through these pretty quick here, you guys. All right, so five stars on nail, and level 3000, 126 and 112 K, so for range damage, He's right up there with the two new sparkings. It's pretty ridiculous. And his defense is really not that much lower either. They were at like 87 and 85K. He's at 82 and 84. So exceptionally good EX unit right here who's got a maxed out tree almost except for the strike attack. This is, this is quite impressive again for an EX unit they're putting out. Main ability. Battle of life or death, draw a blue card, restore your key by 50, reduces damage received by 20% for a whole minute, and 50% to special move damage inflicted for 30 seconds. Not bad again at all. These are really, really good traits on a main ability for an EX card right here. He's definitely going to be up there for your regeneration and maybe your Frieza Saga teams as well. Because it goes great with, again, regeneration and full power Frieza. Good, good flexibility there. Unique ability. Falling effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. 35% to blast damage inflicted for 15 counts. Nullifies his own abnormal conditions for 15 timer counts. So I guess it makes him like immune to, to attribute or like poisons and faints and stuff like that for 15 seconds. Inflicts enemy with a tribute downgrade plus 20% to their blue card cost for 15 timer counts. Again, all good things on this unique right here, and they are all repeatable. Second unique, Namekian's Hope. 10% of damage inflicted for 15 counts upon landing a strike or blast arts hit. So that's stackable. 10% of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts when the enemy uses a strike or blast arts. While this character is on the battlefield. And 20% of damage inflicted by allies. And 15% of damage inflicted by tag regeneration when this character is defeated. So a little mini future Gohan or Son Family Yellow Goku death buff there. And as well, stacking bonuses. 10% whenever you use a card that's red or yellow and same for the enemy. 
with the heal, the defense buffs. This is a, this is an exceptionally good EX unit, you guys. Again, for regeneration or the Frieza Saga era teams. Strike Blast, normal, Mystic Flash, major impact damage, plus 15% of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. That's good. It just buffs his own damage for 15% whenever he uses it. That's not something that enemy can swap out of. Regenerating energy. Restore his own health by 10%, plus 15% to damage inflicted for 20 counts. Gradually restores ally health for 20 timer counts with each count. This EX card is definitely sparking level, you guys. All of his kit right here is absurdly good. Nail! Nail! What is going on here, buddy? That's amazing. Comes with red and yellow. Z ability at, you know, the upgraded state. 30% to tag regeneration or Frieza Saga based strike and blast attack. Almost just as good as the Android. It's better! 38%! This EX unit has a better Z ability than the brand new Sparking Full Power 13 for regeneration or Frieza Saga, as opposed to 13 only buffing androids. This is crazy, you guys. I'm actually kind of stupefied like how much better than a lot of the Sparkings in the game this EX nail is right here. <laughs> They're doing nail some serious justice. What the crap. All right, we're gonna go over Zamasu next. He's really easy to get through because he's got a very, very linear focus in this game. Very, very sh small, like, window of where to use him. Again, he's regeneration or god key or future, but you're gonna wanna stack him mostly on god key or regeneration. He is all blast damage, you guys. So you're looking at 121k blast attack right here. It's not bad. 110k strike attack's not bad either, but his whole kit is just focused around just doing blast damage right here. You'll, you'll see in a second. Key restore 22, critical 31, 62, not bad. Main ability relatively basic, but powerful. 50% to blast damage inflicted for 25 timer counts. Cancels any attribute downgrades on himself, and he can use it after 15 seconds. Again, very basic, but just blast damage and, you know, removing debuffs that would hurt his blast damage. Twisted Justice, 30% to his own Vanish Gauge Recovery for 10 timer counts when this character enters the battlefield. Restores own key by 30 when this character evades enemy with a vanishing step. So they want you to kind of abuse him vanishing, getting key back, and doing blast damage. Burgeoning Rebellion, inflicts enemy with a tribute downgrade, plus 10% to damage received for 10 timer counts upon landing a blast arts hit. So, do more blast damage, you'll do more damage in general. So, again, very very linear, very focused, streamlined you know, kit going on here for him. Strike is slice damage, which is pretty neat there. He's a little key sword on his wrist, but the blast impact is what you're going to want to be doing most of. Supreme Divide, major slice damage, plus 20% of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts upon activation. 40% chance to inflict Paralyze on hit. This is not teachable to Shallot either, it seems. But, this is actually a very good blue card. Buffs his own damage, the enemy can't sub out of that. 40% to Paralyze. Paralyze is also super annoying. So, that pretty like, again, pretty damn good blue card right there. Green card, unlock key, rapid blast form. 15% to blast damage inflicted for 15 counts. And minus 5 to his blast arts cost. 30% to his own key recovery as well for 15 counts. Again, all blast damage. They want you to be doing like all yellow cards with the Zamasu with the occasional blue card. Brings two yellows. He has really none of the tanking or healing or defensive properties that the other Zamasu does. But again, for doing blast damage, he's not bad. 22% to element green or god key blast attack once you upgrade this here. On God Key, I would say it would be a struggle to replace the Green Beerus with this guy because the Green Beerus has much better interactions with Whis. Like if you're using a more evil God Key team, especially in the future when like Rose and Fusamasu comes out, then I could see this guy being a good green element for the evil version of God Key. But right now, again, with Whis and Beerus and how they interact, I would say that that's the stronger option to go with Green Beerus. If you don't have him, you know, then you have a green option here for your god key team. And then beyond that, just green buffer. So, nothing for future from this guy right here. I'll be very selfish on that team. That's about it for the four new characters, you guys. Again, 
There is a hero nail. I'm not really going to waste too much time going over him. I know they added him in here somewhere. I just don't know where. Maybe Renzi hasn't even put him in here yet. I don't know. I, again, I really don't feel like going over the hero character anyway because heroes are just something to pull a bunch of and get like Z medals with. Anyway, you guys, the last little interesting thing that I did want to talk about here was this Goku's green card right here. This defensive stance where it's basically like a block attack on the screen. I remember going over this about 11 months ago. So I did track it down on Reddit here and I found it with 228 upvotes still. The Defense Arts card. This was my idea, again, 11 months ago that I found is extremely similar to what they've done for this Goku's green card. Going over this real quick, I just, I arbitrarily gave it these properties that, you know, every deck would have one of these cards, no matter who you played as, similar to a green card. 50% damage reduction while you're shielding it, but it would work against blue cards and ultimate arts also in my version. So that's why you know, Goku's got 100% damage avoided but it doesn't work against, you know, special moves and ultimate arts. So this one would be a little bit more versatile in that department, but at a cost of you still taking some of that damage. It would prevent knockback, which is what Goku's does. And when I say that, I mean, it, when the enemy attacks you, you get hit by a card, you get knocked back a row. This prevents that. You basically block, you stand your ground, which then allows you to immediately respond or vanish after that animation is over, instead of being stuck in like hit stun where the enemy can sidestep and continue their combo etc so that's extremely similar right there as to what goku's green card does mine however did not refill vanish meter since everyone on every team would be able to use it i didn't want to make it too op since goku's is just for his he gets 100 percent of his vanish meter back too making his even that much more powerful and just like the goku as well it does not work against rising rush so Again, I came up with this concept a long, long time ago. I'm not trying to take credit for it in Legends, because obviously they have done theirs a little bit differently. It's also kind of a no-brainer to have some type of block mechanic in Legends. But, I don't know, you guys. I kind of still would prefer it to be kind of like my design here, where every deck had one, and it's something that every team and character could strategically use. But, again, with Goku doing it right here in the new unit, I do expect that it's not going to be a mechanic that we won't be seeing again soon. Like, we're going to see this again on other defensive characters soon where they're going to have blocking moves like this. They always repeat stuff at least a couple of times, usually. And I would say that this would be one that would definitely be coming back, or the, the Goku's green card right here at least. That is pretty much all we have for this video, you guys. I just wanted to spend my time talking about the characters separately from any summons so people that wanted to watch the video knew what they were getting into and wouldn't be like expecting summons and then waiting for them and getting irritated. So this video is just about getting to know the new banner, the new characters. I do think the Android 13 is going to be a little bit more impactful straight out the gate because he is that red powerful androids unit that that team needed. However, the Goku does look like an extremely good defensive and nuking character with his ultimate arts also. So again, it'll be an ultra space time banner. That means there should be tickets that we can all earn for free. There as well should be the uh, one time $8 purchase for like energy tickets and one guaranteed sparking ticket on the banner. I'll probably be picking that up at least. I'm probably not gonna be buying any other crystals to do like heavy summons on this banner, but I don't know you guys, I guess we'll have to find out. There's at least a few thousand crystals that you can farm right now between the challenge rushes, the ultra space time rush, the Kaba event story that they have going on. So if you guys do that, hopefully you'll get at least a couple of chances on this banner if you're intending to summon. Definitely let me know what your intentions are down below. Let me know what you think of the nut punching full power Android 13 and the Goku, the extremely powerful EX Nail and the kind of useless for now, but maybe not EX Zamasu. Again, I, I think he'll be really good when we have an evil and a good guy version of the God Key team, which is definitely coming down the road, you guys. So hopefully you guys see this. My algorithms aren't dead. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that stick around, hang out, check out the videos. Again, leave any comments, thoughts down below, and I will be checking you out again very soon, you guys. Probably do a little bit of summoning on the banner, but nothing crazy. Hopefully, you guys have a great weekend, and as well, if you're in like the southeastern part of the country, like Florida, 
and stuff like that. Be very careful with this hurricane coming in, you guys. Definitely be safe. I wish nothing but good luck on you guys in real life in that situation and on your summons upcoming tonight, tomorrow morning as well. That's about the last time I'm going to say goodbye, you guys. Peace out. Catch you later.